I would like to show you something. Uh, doing good farming doesn't stop only with producing and live there, like the way we do in our different countries. So these are some of the animals, six to eight months that they're going to be exported. Could be Uganda, could be another country. Uh, you know, when you do uh, separation and say that I want this number of animals, depending age six to eight, uh, 10 to 14, they arrange. These guys are very ethical. They don't just give you an animal like the way you think. Uh, you want an animal, you go and pick. No. They have to make sure that that animal is healthy, that animal is clean, that animal looks beautiful. It appetizes you. You get it? So now where I am, um, I've been learning how to clean the animals, how to trim it, how even to make its horns look beautiful. It's a lot of things that you're going to see, and I'm going to take you through that process. So now this is a... Um, this is a goat, 18, uh, sorry, six to eight months, and I want to put it on the clip so that it doesn't move and it allows me to work on it. Okay, come. Just slowly, okay? Sorry. Okay. So, I have really locked in this guy. Um, this is, uh, this is, you, you remember when uh, we were doing a course of, uh, inspection and then grading of animals they told us about the the horns being dark being round it's also part of it so what you see here this is a machine for an animal of course they have trained me and uh, i want to make it more beautiful so what i'm doing i'm trying to shave it eh? to make sure that it looks more beautiful. Of course, I'm not that perfect. What I'm doing, I'm not doing this to a human being. I'm doing it to the goat because we want it exported very, very beautiful. So this is some of the processes that they go through. So when you receive your animal and it's really looking very pretty, don't say that these guys uh, the animals uh, animals are still the same you see how i've done my shaving so um i think now i have to go on to another process uh we even clean you don't just huh we are trying to make sure that everything is proper <laughs> So this even cleans even here. Eh? If you want your animal and it's growing a lot of hairs, that's how you use it. And um, also, there is this other bigger machine. This really, ah, it's not this one. Uh, there is this other machine. This we know it as a, a grinder in our place. Uh, but for this case, you see this horn is not looking very pretty and smooth. So they use it to clean this. Uh, let me see how to use a grinder. Here. Hey, here. Yeah, okay. So I'm going now to... So guys, that is uh, the process that we go through to clean up this animal. Of course, it's not well done. And these guys are really going to help me doing it much better. And even this is supposed to be trimmed well. And even cutting off the tail. I think uh, the scissor is... Uh, we have this big one. I don't know what this does. But it's like a panga. So this... We also use it to make sure that even these other nannies are, are really looking very, very nice. What do we learn in this, my guys? Um, these guys are not just wasting time. They have a reason why they are doing it. 
okay and uh, that reason is why we are here there is many uh, countries that are doing uh, goat farming but we are here because their animals really really look very pretty i know most of you people have been asking me hamis uh, what do those guys feed those animals on these guys they are feeding on the rambusta. Rambusta, I think it should be composed of many things. And uh, some of them it should be, of course, uh, protein. Because this protein is the one that builds up the muscles. And then there is a lot of other things that they put in. Enzymes, which allows this animal to convert the feeds in a very small time. Because you know an animal can eat the same thing, like the way I eat it. But the ability of that animal to convert that grass or whatever it has eaten into muscles that is its uh, potential so like in the feeds they mix in the enzymes that allows high digestion digestibility of the feeds these guys are really really very 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 young but just look at how they are looking so guys we still have a long way because these are the people that are on market where are we we also have to go into the market copying what exactly these guys are really doing and they are open they have allowed us to show you what exactly they are doing me i'm still in south africa and i'm still going through a lot of things i really really need to check out myself what am i not doing right what am i have to, what am i supposed to do right that's why i try my best to make sure that i also show you what exactly these guys are really doing so that is the process of cleaning up those animals they're also going to clean you know the trimmers this is a, this is a trimmer so hoof trimmer you can even use it to trim these horns if they are really too sharp you can as well cut them off so basically that those are practices that are done to the animals that they are going to export let me just wish you the best guys and bye for now